afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is Victoria Beal with the Ohio LTAP Center, and I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today for the quick webcast on the updates to the LTAP website. It's noon, so we're going to go ahead and move forward with our quick webcast. The website is hopefully showing on your screen, and I'm just going to scroll up a little bit so you can see the top, and we'll be talking about all of it really during this quick webcast. I don't know that we're going to go the full half an hour, but I can tell you that I'm going to cover all aspects of the website, so hopefully it'll make you more comfortable in using it now that it has been updated. So. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I appreciate everyone joining us. Um, I'm just going to give you an overview of it. So as we walk through it, um, if you have questions, feel free to pop those in the question box. I'm doing double duty as my own moderator today, so I will get to those questions as quickly as I can. And we are attempting to record this, so if you have um, anything you want to refresh yourself on, we should have a link available hopefully by the end of the day, emailed out to everyone. So the LTAP website is part of ODOT's website. And when you navigate to our web page, either using the link or um, through a link that's been sent to you, if you land on our main page, you're gonna see information on our program here on the left side. And on the right side, you are also gonna see our contact information and a link if you would like to see all the staff members and their contact information. I'll pull that up real quickly for you here. And if you want to see information for those who are in the other side of the Office of Local Programs, there is a link to their contact information as well. Under that, you can also sign up for email updates through our listserv. This is how we communicate most often with everyone is to with sending out different email updates. And then below that, we have narrowed down our categories of information into three main um, targeted cards. That's what they call these on the website, as cards. We have available training on the left. We've got e-learning in the middle. And then to the right, we have technical assistance services and resources. I know in the past it, it seemed a bit confusing because those were broken up um, and a lot of folks didn't know what to look for in each one when they wanted to reach different um, information. So we've had it all put together and I'll go over that in a few minutes, but we're going to start here on the left, kind of the same way that, that we read um, with the available training. When you click on that, it will actually um, provide for you you know, information about the types of training that are offered. And then if you scroll down, we have some quick links. Um, one of them, which is very popular, is information on inspector testing and worksite traffic supervisor prequal testing. Um, we also have information on how CPDs work here in Ohio and how they work with our courses. Um, we've added a, a link to our route of navigation job aids, which I'll talk to you about more later when we go over the resources. Um, but we also have a link to, if you get in here and you decide you want to go to e-learning courses instead, you can just click this button on the left that says e-learning courses to get there um, instead of having to go back out to the top level page. So with the inspector testing and WTS prequal testing, that will take you over to our page on enroll where, where you can click on that item and go through and start your registration process if that's what you want to do. It does have a tremendous amount of information in there about that testing because there are a lot of different requirements. I'm not going to go over all of those today. Um, on the continuing professional development, if you click there, like I said, this is a, a tutorial in a sense about how CPDs work in Ohio. They were started a number of years ago for engineers and surveyors, and we do provide information on how our courses fit in with the way it works here in Ohio. Um, we also, um, in addition to providing the information, give you some information about ethics training, because ethics training is a requirement um, 
of the licensure and we have ethics training available not only in sessions that we will offer throughout the year usually via webinar now um, but also in our e-learning system and another resource we found here within the state that you can use to get your ethics hours in so I'm going to back back up from the CPD page and I'm going to scroll down now and show you on the available training page once you go below those four boxes you can actually search by keyword if you're interested um, or you can just scroll down to see what's available that's coming up and these are all sessions that are either in person or a webinar and usually if it's going to be a webinar it'll clearly say that or say virtual on there so I'm going to click on one that we've got coming up in September that I know is not a webinar it's actually an NHI grant funded course and it's safety training that's being provided there an Ohio traffic safety office grant and then you can get more information on the course itself um, this course does cover two days and I caution you to make sure that you um, excuse me actually it covers three days I apologize um, one thing you'll notice when you click I'm gonna back up here one second real quick um, as I did want to point this out to you one thing you'll notice when you look at these is it'll say um, either the time it's going to be that date like this inspected curb ramps is just August 30th from 830 to 1145 um, or it'll say a number of days and I want to caution you on it says um, a number of days to make sure to click in there and double check on the number of days itself the system does have a little quirk in it where it will um, not necessarily list all the days and we're still working with our IT folks on that but you know if you click in here you can read the information and then you can also um, download a flyer which is the traditional flyers that we've done in LTAP we have those available here on the right side as a PDF so you can still get to that flyer which will tell you three days and the dates that it is so I'm gonna close that flyer up but if you decide to register for the course once you get over to enroll where it'll also tell you that it's going to be three days and I apologize if that's a bit confusing we are trying to get that portion of the um, calendar worked out with IT and they are definitely diligently working on that so other than that little hiccup though um, you should hopefully be able to look at the items that are listed and if what you're not look what you're looking for is not listed in there there's a very good chance that it is actually being offered via e-learning and that's the area I'm going to go to next I'm going to scroll back up here to our breadcrumb trail that's what they call this little area here with the slashes in between because it, it shows you um, what's the next page up in the chain for the website so I'm going to click back on our local technical assistance program link and that'll take us back to the main page and now I'm going to take you into the e-learning area in the e-learning area we have over 450 different e-learning courses that are available on a number of topics I mean that there's a lot of topics offered in our e-learning catalog and all of our e-learning is offered free of charge there's a couple of ways to review what's in the e-learning system so on our site here it does give you um, some information about e-learning and then it takes you right into getting started with the e-learning system if you don't have an e-learning account already you'll need to create a my ODOT and this is even for people who work for ODOT because this system sits outside of ODOT's firewall so everybody can get to it anywhere in the world so you do have to set up a, a separate username and password through my ODOT and you would do that by clicking on that first link to get to the my ODOT um, to set that up and if you want instructions on the my ODOT system and how it works right below the second link you can click on that and in this area not only do we have an overview of how to 
what my io.is, is, how to request an account, but this forgot password. This is such a popular area because some folks really um, only have to get in here every so often. You know, they aren't looking at doing training um, on a consistent basis, and if they're looking at renewing something just annually through the system, a lot of times they've forgotten their password. So the information is here on how to reset your password in my ODOT. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that that was there. Back, back up. Um, we have, where it says explore current courses, a couple of ways you can do that. We have a PDF catalog that you can click, um, but you can also scroll down and we have cards that provide you information once you click on them on the courses that are available in that area. And I'll just click on the environmental e-learning courses um, and for environmental, there's an extensive list. Um, uh, many, many of these are courses that would be taken for pre-qualification purposes. So, you know, you can definitely click on that and get more information. Say if you were interested in, you know, the categorical exclusion, then it would pull that information up and you could look at what's in each course. Going back up to the higher level page in the e-learning area. The other thing I wanted to show you was the PDF catalog. It's actually my personal favorite to use when I'm looking at the e-learning because I can do a search and find in it. So say I wanted to find um, CDL training, which is one of the courses we offer in here. I could hit the control button and the letter F together and it pops up this little search box at the top and then I can just type in CDL and it showed, has taken me to the three areas where CDL is listed. So I now know, or actually there's 16 areas, I now know that there are three courses for CDL in the catalog and I could use the little down arrow button to just scroll my way through each instance of the CDL in the catalog and you know say I wanted to do general knowledge I'd seen that one I can take that course um, do a course on air brakes you know there's also a course on pre-trip inspection and for these courses that have the TC3 label in front of them they have all been developed in partnership with other state DOTs through AASHTO so of the 450 courses in our system, about 250 have been developed through that partnership with AASHTO. And I would definitely recommend that um, if you haven't looked at our catalog before, take a look at it because there are a number of courses in the TC3 area. In addition to there being a number of courses um, just in other topic areas as well, the, the Traffic Academy courses, that were historically offered in person are all online now at the exception of maintenance of traffic, which they are actively working on getting that one wrapped up so we can get it published out soon. There's also a great series on um, snow and ice that were created through a pooled fund with other state DOTs and AASHTO. So these are great refreshers before your snowplow drivers decide to hit the road, modules that they could complete. Um, we have different classes on roadway safety. Real estate is a growing area. There's going to be more courses added there. Uh, project management training, we have our level one, which has been out for a few months. And I'm hoping by the end of July that we'll have the level two published out. There's more courses coming in that area. So um, I just recommend that you take a look at this catalog, whether you do it through the PDF document or you do it through the tabs, the little cards on our page. Um, and then to actually get into the e-learning system, the link is right here. You can click visit e-learning system and they have um, the link here as well, farther down this card and then some instructions for the system. So if I click on that, it'll take you to the main page of our course mail system where you can log in. Um, on the instructions, I'll click on that because these explain you know, things like how to enroll, how to view your completed courses, um, how to access your transcript form, which a lot of folks do need that when they're sending in information to consultant services to show they've completed trainings, um, how to find a class, and then how to retake an e-learning module. So you've completed it before, but you need to complete it again. 
this will explain to you how to do that. So we're hopeful that, you know, if you have questions, you'll look here. And then if the question isn't answered, you can always reach out to us. Our contact information is on every page of the website on the right-hand side, the email and the, the phone number. So I'm going to just back back out of that page. And then um, we did kind of do a little call out here as well about resetting your password because that is probably one of the most common phone calls that we get is how to get a password reset for e-learning. But I definitely encourage you to take a look at the e-learning information. It continues to be a very important part of the offerings we have. And since the pandemic, a lot of folks really have been hesitant to go back to in-person. So the e-learning continues to grow, uh, most definitely. And then on the right-hand side, we have information about the different technical assistances we provide, services and resources. So I'm gonna click on that. And one of the things that um, you need to be aware of is these cards, it really truly is a compilation of these different assistance services and resources because um, you'll need to just look through them and see what information is there that could be relevant to what you're doing and things that we could assist you with or tech transfer toolboxes that we have available. Um, we have different tech transfer toolboxes such as this one on ADA transition plan. Um, we've provided a template and resources to help local government agencies, you know, do a self-evaluation and get their ADA transition plan established. But we also have, you know, a listing of resources for um, our equipment loan program. There's different equipment that we have available that you can actually request to borrow. Um, and along with the equipment that we have available, we also have tech transfer toolboxes that explain how to use that equipment that you're gonna borrow. So, you know, take some time and go through here and make sure um, you're aware of what resources we are able to offer you. In addition to the loan program, um, we have a, a list of resources. We've had quite a few questions lately about heavy equipment training. And the LPA modules completion report, this one item we did get pulled out and it's all available on our website. Um, it used to kind of be buried over in the local programs portion of the website, but if you're someone who works for a local public agency in Ohio and you have to take these modules or you have to prove that you've taken them in order to apply for federal funding to administer a project locally, that reports out here now for you. So overall, we're hoping that the streamlining of our website um, will be of assistance to you in trying to get to the information you need in a much quicker fashion. I'm going to go back out to the top level of the site again. We've covered these three cards. Um, one thing that our folks in IT and communications did is they did pull up a few items onto the front page of events that are the most um, current events that are going to be happening, you know, say the next four events on our calendar. Um, and then on the right-hand side, and I don't know how many of you knew this, but LTAP is on Facebook and we put updates out there on our Facebook page. So if you're interested in that, you can click there and then, um, you know, like us on Facebook, and then that should hopefully put us in your feed to get updates when we post them. We have a YouTube channel, um, and we have an extensive amount of videos out on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you this real quickly. Um, we initially started it, as a way to offer the videos that used to be in our lending library. So the videos, as long as they were public domain, we took them and converted them over and turned them into um, YouTube videos. So we have all of those out here on our YouTube site, but during the pandemic, and we've continued this since, um, when we started offering a lot more webinars, we also took those webinars and put them on our YouTube site as well. Now, if you watch a video recording of a webinar through our YouTube site, we can't give you a certificate saying that you did it because we don't really know, you know, that you watched it. Um, 
but if you just want that information and you're not looking for the certificate of completion, say you just want to know what's going on with electric vehicle charging stations in Ohio, you know, this webinar was only a month ago, it's still very current, 73 people have watched it to get that information. Um, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law quick, quick Webcast, this was a great one. It was pretty short and sweet, 22 minutes, and it gave you the information about how to get to that info, information on ODOT's webpage and who the contact is there. So I would definitely encourage you to take a look at what we have available on our YouTube page, um, not only for training videos for your staff or others, but also for just updates for yourself. And this is where a recording of today's webinar will end up. If you want to know when we post videos, you can subscribe. And what it'll do is whenever you hit the YouTube um, icon on your phone or access it um, and log in, it'll let you know, you know, under your notifications area that we have uploaded a video or posted a new video. Another way to stay up to date on what's going on um, with LTAP and all the resources available to you is through our newsletters and that's another link here on the right hand side just below the YouTube link and we keep up to three years out on our website the two previous years and then whatever's been published for our current year so you can subscribe to our mailing list um, or if you just want to see what's going on with uh, the newsletters you can just come out here and click on you know any volume really but the most current one um, we've got and the page sometimes when you click on that just kind of does the redirect so um, our current edition is out here that was just published out in the last month and it's got a lot of great articles for you um, information on the different programs that are focused to local public agencies things like that so I personally think it would be best to just subscribe to the listserv so that way you know immediately when it comes out but if you don't want to you can still come out here and look at our newsletters page and click on the newsletter itself so scrolling down below that we have an area where we're able to feature different cards um, and these cards are also going to be available on the technical assistance services and resources area but know that there's some featured ones that are being pulled out and put up here at, underneath the ca calendar area on the web page and then at the very bottom just again a few more cards that were pulled out as um, additional resources and if you click this view more resources it takes you back to that same page I just talked about um, with you the technical assistance services and resources so we tried to make it so you didn't have to click too much to get to information it's not too many levels deep um, and we tried to put it in categories that we thought would make sense for what you're looking for but if at any time you have an idea about how to improve something make it more customer friendly um, maybe we're not communicating it out in the way that you look for it please feel free to reach out and email me or email any of the LTAP staff um, because we are more than happy to you know work on improving the site any way possible and the ways that we communicate information there is a question that came in I'm sorry Mary that I didn't see this sooner um, are CPD certificates available for e-learning courses completed we don't do certificates however you can use your transcript and I'll scroll down here um, for the to prove that you've completed the the courses so um, the information on how to pull your transcript is over here in the e-learning system instructions access your transcript form and there is a, a transcript report that you can run and it gives you everything that would be on that individual certificate so it, it's kind of like a you know a package deal there you'll be able to run that transcript and use it um, also for CPD purposes so hopefully I've answered your question there are there any other questions if not, we're coming to the end of our quick webinar, quick webcast. All right, well, thank you for joining me for this overview of the newly improved um, LTAP website. And again, if you need anything, have any questions, please feel free to reach out 
it's Victoria Beal with the Ohio LTAP Center. Um, you can see my contact information here under the see all contacts area. Um, but you can also just email us in general at LTAP at dot.ohio.gov. Um, can you search the e-learning? Absolutely, Pete. Let me back back up and I'll go back to that. A um, couple different ways to search the e-learning. You can actually search in that PDF catalog and hopefully you saw that part earlier. Um, you can also go into the e-learning system itself and search for courses. Um, and I'm going to log in under an alias I have that I use with this system so I can see it like you guys do. Um, but if you're interested in looking for courses in the catalog, when it pulls up after you've logged in, you can click on the course catalog tab instead of just the My Courses. And then you can go in and look for, um, you know, different courses. Catalog ID is this short um, description or title we give it here. It's usually the same as the title of the class itself. I think a lot of times it's more beneficial to search in this description box because that's where we have more language about um, the course that's going on. So say I wanted to um, look for a course on trenching. I might just search the word trenching and then here we go. There's one class out of the 450 plus that's on trenching and it's from the TC3 AASHTO um, curriculum and it tells you everything that is a part of that course and I can click to enroll in it and ask me if I want to enroll. I'll tell it yes. I'll tell it okay. Now if I go over to um, my courses, that trenching course will be listed there. So, yep, TC3 Construction Awareness, and I can click on the little box with the arrow in it to start running the course. So, we definitely encourage you, you know, to take a look at what's available in here. So, it's going to reload the whole, oh, we're up to 511 now. I knew we had added some more courses. I hadn't um, checked the, the number lately in the last month but and we continue to add courses this is a great great way to set up staff development um, help people continue to grow their skills we've had a lot of folks in the surveying area that have been using our uas courses staff development because that's an area that the they're very interested in getting their folks licensed in order to be able to fly the drone to do surveying functions also in the bridge training area um, you know, we have different courses out here, different curriculums. If you are looking for something particular, can't find it, contact me. I would love to know what you're thinking um, and what the needs are out there. We'll be putting our survey out very soon um, also that we do every few years. But, you know, we're here to help you. We're your resource for, you know, all things transportation training in Ohio. So. I appreciate everybody's time today. I don't want to run over and it looks like I've hopefully answered all the questions. So if you need anything further, uh, please feel free to reach out and we're here to help you with um, your training and technical needs. Oh, a YouTube search. Sure, Pete, I can go over to that real quick on our YouTube site. I get it opened up here. Um, if you just want to search within our YouTube page itself, um, I'm trying to think of one that we could do. Let's see. I'm just going to type in UAS again. Um, so yeah, we have. Um, it'll just take you to the webinars that we have hosted or videos that we have put up about um, that have that UAS somewhere in the description. So, you know, with that one, that's more of an acronym. So you'll kind of have to filter out as you look down through here. But this was a very interesting one, um, this top one. It was actually a research results presentation about how to, um, you know, the integration of those, the UAS and the national airspace. And then this one below was a research results presentation on the infrastructure to support the UAS 
and other aircraft technologies, the, the vertiports that they, I believe they're looking at putting in all around the state. So, all right, we're at a half an hour and I don't wanna take more time than what we told you it would be. So please reach out if you have any more question. questions. Thank you, everybody have a great afternoon.